had a grad student, Ali, and he participated in an ACI contest at American Concrete Institute. The name of the contest is The Art of Concrete, and so he cast a concrete guitar, not this particular one. The conference was in uh, the States, and bringing big things with concrete and reinforcing steel and electric wires and stuff. It's kind of iffy on airplanes. So I ended up leaving it there. We were kind of scared to string it up because that puts a lot of stress on the, on the neck. And we didn't know for sure if it was going to hold together or not. And so we waited till we got there. And when we strung it up, it did develop a few cracks in the, in the neck. And, uh, People were really interested in it, though, and uh, somebody is, I don't know, I'm not sure what the saying is exactly, but we sent them the mold that was used for the neck, and uh, they're going to try casting a new neck and get it ready for the next ACI conference, not for a contest, but just for fun. So this is the guitar. Um, it's not the one that was entered in the contest. It was an extra because we we're worried about things breaking. and had a, a few extra necks and a few extra bodies. Um, the real guitar has got the plate on it and the bridge and all the electronics. But uh, other than that, um, same thing, same mold. Well, the problem is when we wired it up, I mentioned that we had a few cracks develop in the neck. And if you try tuning it up, it tightens the, the neck and makes it flex a little bit. So you couldn't really tune it in the conventional tuning sort of way, but uh, you could definitely strum it and have it maybe tuned at a much lower uh, key than uh, normally would be. And it sounded, I don't know, it had an interesting sound, that's for sure. And that's the whole objective for the next ACI conference. The people that we left it with are going to try some different ideas, casting the, the neck maybe do some pre-stressing. They've got a lot of plans, but the idea is to be able to unveil it at the next ACI conference and actually have it be part of a band. I did was I looked on Kijiji for Stratocaster, well, real Fender Stratocaster is quite spendy, and uh, there's a lot of different knockoffs out there, so I shopped around and found a, a Stratocaster knockoff for 70 bucks, and that's what we scavenged for all the parts. Loretto Caprara, it was his Fender Stratocaster that um, he donated and uh, allowed us to make the mold. And then once it was all, the mold was finished, uh, took it back and put it back together and uh, I think he sold it. The big debate when the, the mold was being made was, do we try to do it in a single casting or do it in, in two parts? And to do it in one cast would have been really, really tricky, especially if we wanted the molds to be reusable. Yay, it's over. <laughs>